students in previous video uh, we have discussed poem a roadside stand a line by line explanation uh, in detail we have discussed uh, today we will discuss ncert textual questions and some extra questions also we will discuss here think it out question number 1 the city folk who drive through the countryside hardly paid any heed to the roadside stand or to the people who ran it if at all they did it was to complain which lines bring this out what was their complaint about so beginning four or five lines if we will refer uh, we will understand this the first thing here city folk who drive drove through the countryside hardly paid any heed so means here attention so they are not paying attention towards the roadside stand or roadside seat so which lines here referred for that so that first we will think about that a roadside stand that too pathetically pleads actually here the roadside stand it is pathetically pleading then why the condition it is like this because the police traffic passed with the mind ahead so the city area people they are not waiting there or they are not paying attention or heed towards the road side stand and one more thing if they would wait then they may wait for the complaint so what here one more sub question it is given if at all they did it was to complain so what would be their complaint city area people's complaint which lines bring this out and what was their complaint about so here first we will refer that lines then out of sorts at having the la landscape marred with the artless paint of signs that with n turn wrong and s turn wrong so here it is their complaint what would be their complaint that the n means the south di here north direction or s south direction that signs it may not be painted properly so here it would be the complaint from their side because the painting it is not good the strokes may not be good so here instead of uh, thinking positively because they are the uh, rural area people then also here important thing we can discuss that right? they are uh, not paying attention towards the uh, road side stand we should have that humanity approach but here we are observing just the complaint they are illiterate uh, they are not getting that Uh, good facilities of education all things and they are uh, poor deprived people but city area people sophisticated people means that police traffic sophisticated people they may wait there for but for the complaint because uh, direction that things it may not be proper so they may uh, stop the vehicle and may complain about that then what was the plea of the folk who had put off the road side stand so here what is the main thing here we can observe what is the plea or what is that unhappy state of mind of the country side people because they are not getting the enough customers especially city people because city people they have the money so they can
परचेस एंड कंट्री साइड पीपल और दोज हु आर इन द माउंटेन रेंजेस दैट दे आर सेलिंग देयर गुड्स दे विल गेट दैट मनी सो हियर क्वेश्चन इट इज आस्ट वॉट वॉज द प्ली ऑफ द फोक हु हैड पुट ऑफ द रोड साइड स्टैंड सो वॉट वुड बी देयर प्रॉब्लम देयर प्रॉब्लम इज सिटी फोक्स और सिटी एरिया पीपल दे आर नॉट पेइंग अटेंशन टूवर्ड्स द रोड साइड स्टैंड एंड दे आर जस्ट पासिंग फ्रॉम दैट रोड एंड वॉट वन मोर थिंग समन में स्टॉप देयर बट दे मे आस्क जस्ट द प्राइसेस समन मे आस्क फॉर द गैलन ऑफ गैस or someone may just plow up their grass or damage the grass like that some they are not paying attention just passing by that road some may wait but may not purchase so it is the problem for all of them then the government and other social service agencies appear to help the poor rural people but actually do them no good pick out the words and phrases that the poet uses to show their double standard so here we have already discussed in the explanation also so concern with the government government and other social agencies appear to help the poor rural people so rural area people they may say that government will set up the project in that area their lands will be purchased by the government and along with some businessmen or some social agencies they may go in that area and they may tell them that we will give you the place that place would have all facilities but they would take that land in very less money means government price would be very less more than that they may give but it is the main primary source of their livelihood their earning source it will be taken away from the farmers that rural area people and it is their lifestyle so what they are taking they are taking their lifestyle means they are taking their life so and some here expressions we will notice for that so government and other social service agencies appear to help the poor rural people but actually do they no good so actually they are not doing anything good what they are pick out the words and phrases that poet uses to show their double standards so here there are some expressions that expressions i will uh, refer for you in that here give us the life of moving picture promise that the party in power is said to be keeping from us so here the party in power the, the government will announce so many things but it would be like a moving picture promise so it may not fulfill also and uh, they may think like a uh, it would be like just a trusting sorrow and some more lines also i will refer here in that while greedy good doors benefit be stop pray sorn over their lives in forcing benefits so they are the how they are they are greedy good doers they are greedy they are taking their land in very less money because rural area people they don't know about the market price they are illiterate so in very less price and when they will set up the project they will earn more from that so again one more line it is given that are calculated to soothe them out of their wits so it is their out of their wits means out of their wisdom so this is the important thing here we can notice and here one more thing it is given the phrases that poet uses to show their double standard how is the double standard nature double standard nature means you are showing something and you are doing something so here on one side they are showing that they are helping the poor farmer or rural area people but on the other side they are taking their lands they are purchasing their lands and they are uh, saying them to go there in one little bit big town 
and you will get all means theater or other shops would be there and you can enjoy but in actual state here if they wish to help them what would be the help they should provide the equipments for farming or they can provide the infrastructure for them to set up nice set and they can give the training for marketing like that they could do but instead of that they are directly purchasing the land and now after suppose they will get some money but one year two years uh, they may survive on that afterwards what will happen then the condition will come like they would be like a beggars so their condition would be worse than the present condition so this is the double standard nature of the government as well as means the ruling party and some social agencies or the businessmen like that here it is the situation in the america <clears throat> then next question what is the childish longing that the poet refers to why is it when so here what would be the childish longing so i will refer that for you sometime i feel myself i can hardly bear the thought of so much childish longing in vain so here childish longing in a sense that the people those who are waiting there and how they are waiting the line it is mentioned here they wait all day in almost open prayer they wait all day means they are waiting there the whole day they are waiting and one more thing it is mentioned here the sadness that lurks near the open window there that waits all day in almost open prayer so in that almost open prayer means they are praying to the god that at least means it would be their childish longing childish longing in a sense that they are thinking means the rural area people they are thinking that customers will come city dwellers will come and they will purchase Uh, the things or the goods whatever it is available in the seat that road side stand and then uh, their survival will be good or they can survive their economic uh, status will would be stable but here it is not happening so one more question it is asked followed question it is why is it when so that child is longing that child is desire of thinking about the city dwellers that they are coming and they would purchase so the whole day they are waiting so it would be in vain because it will not come into the existence as they are not uh, paying heed or they are not paying attention towards the road side stand so may come but they are just asking uh, about the prices or uh, some they are asking about the gallon of gas and all this they are Uh, destroying the uh, grass or damaging the grass they are doing such type of things which are not at all uh, good means actually they should purchase but they are not doing that so it would be in vain then question number 5 which lines tell us about the insufferable pain that the poet feels at the thought of the plight of rural poor means the poor people those who are the poor deprived people in that rural area or countryside area so in the last stanza there i can't help owning the great relief it would be to put this people at one stroke out of their pen so these lines uh, we can refer for this that which lines tell us about insufferable pain that the poet feels at the thought of the plight of rural poor and further also poet mentioned in that i wonder how i should like you to come to me and offer to put me gently out of my pen because earlier he mentioned that i can't help owning the great relief it would be to put these people at one stroke out of their pen so here poet is helpless poet is saying that i can't help all people at the same time so it would be the pain and when he will come out from the pain himself also he is showing the 
empathy or empathetic nature in that also we can understand so here first to five uh, questions concern with the think it out activity we have discussed then talk about it discuss in small group here economic well being of a country depends on a balanced development of the villages or the cities so here sustainable development economically means villages all village people uh, they should not think to migrate from village area to city area here also uh, mk gandhi and dg uh, there also so many statements their reports also we, if we will refer then it was there also they were also thinking means some politicians especially they used to work for the society some they are thinking in that manner but nowadays the condition it is like this still in rural area they are not getting enough proper infrastructure or the guidance so we can take example of konkan area also that so many people they are just migrating from uh, here means ratnagiri uh, sindhudur so many people they are migrating to directly to the mumbai for job and there uh, due to lack of education or lack of skill they are not getting the work which is having the status so here what is the thing it mentioned here the economic well being of country depends on the balanced development of villages and the cities so there should be balanced development rural area should also sustain with all the facilities and we should provide and suppose their primary source of earning is farming then we should support them we should provide them a technical advice we should provide them means with the help of agriculture department or universities Uh, with the help of some educated people specially trained in that area should be appointed there to guide them and government some uh, funds or schemes should also be implemented in a positive way because government sometime they are announcing the scheme but people they are not getting actual benefit through the government schemes so like this it is happening not it is happening in country or country it is also the reality in other also countries so here uh, this type of thing it is here mentioned that balance should be there in city area people they should also get the enough sources for the uh, employment so many things and uh, simultaneously the village people they should also be happy uh, whatever the primary source of earning they are doing so there should be Uh, balance we should also maintain the balance so in this way you can uh, note down uh, 10 to 15 points concern with this that how can uh, we maintain the balance economic balance in the village area and how can we sustain cities also instead of just migrating should not be the only way that there we will go and we may live in such a area like dharavi or somewhere in such type of areas if we would go there and just leave means it is not the good life so instead of that uh, if we would give them such type of training or skill development uh, through skill development programs then village area people they will also uh, have very nice uh, earning and city area people they will also enjoy means there should not be any problem means any person who whoever is interested in rural area he can work in the rural area and give his contribution whoever person is interested in the city area or in companies or so many different different projects so they can also uh, help each other and the overall the country's progress would be depend on that so here this type of uh, aspects you can put forward or you can make 
again some more points concerned with this concern with the topic so in CRT uh, questions now we have covered some more questions uh, we will discuss short answer questions in that why does the poet refer to, ro to the road sign uh, stand as pathetic so why the condition of the roadside stand it is pathetic the condition of the roadside stand it is personified why it is pathetic why the it is pathetically uh, pleading because the city area people or the people those who are passing through the road they are not paying attention they are not going there and the, uh, purchasing the thing so here it is uh, said it is criticized and uh, with pretty less clarity the condition of the city area people and the condition of the village area people how is the difference means the economic problem here it is discussed so here why does the poet refer the roadside stand as pathetic so you can understand that the people those who are uh, mean sophisticated people or the police traffic uh, they are not purchasing so there is the problem of economic status or their daily wages problem we can understand so they are not getting the money in cash so many words are there uh, you can refer who do this beautiful kin refer to? Why will they be mercifully gathered in? So here, beautiful kin refer to the people, those who are living in that rural area or countryside area or that mountain area. And then next followed by question here, it is, why will they be mercifully gathered in? So here, mercifully in a sense, here they would, they would be given such type of advertisement or such type, they would be shown such type of benefits that they would get uh, the facilities like theatre and all other market facilities would be there and they would be given such type of confidence that you would not be uh, in a worry about the all other things because we are provided we would take care of all that things but that would be the double standard nature here we can understand then what is the party in power keeping from these rural people so we have already uh, discussed the government is announcing some schemes and it would be like a moving picture promise that or they may feel like uh, it is a trusting sorrow somebody will give you uh, through agenda or through some things they will assure you that they will do this but when actual time will come to implement that uh, they may take one step back and the rural area people they may not get the opportunity to go ahead or else what they will do they will show double standard nature in a sense that they will go in that area, they will announce the project and they will take up their land and it is actually the land it is their primary source of earning and it is their lifestyle. So their lifestyle will be taken away from them. So it would be the problem, actual problem would happen to them and it would be out of their wits, it would be out of their understanding, wisdom and so we can understand because they are the rural area people, illiterate people. So easily uh, uh, government, some authorities or some business people, they would cheat them. Uh, then give example of contrast 
and irony in the poem. So here, the contrast or irony, uh, here some expressions are given. What are that expressions? Here, oxymoron, it is used. Greedy, good doors. How it is? How good, greedy and good, it would not be the same. So here, two opposite things, means contrast things are mentioned here. Who are the greedy? The businessmen, uh, who, those who are purchasing the land of the uh, farmer. So they are the greedy. Because of that greediness, they are showing something to them and they are purchasing that. And one more uh, thing it is, beneficent based of prey. So they are also, how they are doing? They are the rich people. What they are doing? They are taking away the lives of the people means their farm so here the big animals they may kill the other animals it is like the thing here also happening that those who are rich they are taking away the things of the means especially the farm of, of, and their uh, daily routine it will be changed so so many things here it is actually the contrast or the irony yeah, or in particular poetic device term if we will say so it is the oxymoron also. So here, uh, what is the open prayer made by the country folks? So here, open prayer made by the country folks, here we can understand that in that open prayer, means they are waiting, it is their childish longing and it would be in vain. Why? Because they are waiting whole day. They are thinking that uh, some customers from city area they would come as they are passing from the road and how they have constructed uh, the roadside stand or the roadside stand it is just the expansion or the extension of the that area uh, the same house it is just little bit expanded and created the said it is not like the mall but here the question it is asked that open prayer so they are praying to the God that at least someone should come and they should purchase. So whatever the goods or vegetables, it will not be wasted up because after some certain period of time, all that things would be wastage. So here state the reasons for which the cars from the city halt at the roadside stand. So, some they may take halt at the roadside stand. They may just ask the prices. Some they may go and just take round in that grass. Some they stop for complaining about the how the N turn wrong or S turn wrong. Means the little bit the art less spent in that area about the signs of uh, north and south, such type of directions. And some may wait for the gallon of gas. So like that things here we can mention. So some examples also we have discussed. I hope that uh, you would have understood the things concerned with the poem. Little bit long poem. So uh, go through each and every line and whatever uh, your doubts uh, feel free to put up, note it down and afterwards you can ask. Thank you.